Hi chefs, welcome back to Close Kitchen. If you are new here, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how I make my Dorito bowl, but before we get to the ingredients, please take the time to subscribe and hit the notification bell for new videos. So for my ingredients, I have my Tony Shashir's Creole seasoning, some garlic powder, some onion powder, some homemade green seasoning, an iceberg lettuce, but you can use any lettuce of your choice. One ripe avocado, some paprika, some pink Himalayan salt, one can of whole kernel corn. Let me know in the comments below if you prefer whole or cream style corn. One can of seasoned black beans, but you can use a regular can of black beans. I picked up this one by mistake, but it will still work for this recipe. Some white distilled vinegar, some olive oil, here I have a medium-sized onion, a green bell pepper, and some garlic clove. For my last ingredient, I have three boneless, skinless chicken breast fillet. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever made a burrito bowl. Before I get started, I'm going to cook two and a half cups of rice in my rice cooker. I'm placing my three chicken breasts in a large bowl. I'm drizzling some of that white distilled vinegar over my pieces of chicken breast. And now I'm adding some cool water to soak my chicken and also defrost it. Next, I'm finely chopping half of my onion. I'm doing the same with my garlic. For my bell pepper, I'm going to use about a quarter piece and I'm going to finely chop it. I place all my chopped vegetable in a bowl and I'm going to set it aside. I have rinsed off the vinegar off of the chicken with some cool water and I'm using the tip of my knife to add some small slits to the chicken and I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Time to add some flavors. I'm starting off by covering my chicken with my Tony Shashir Creole seasoning. I'm doing the same with the onion and garlic powder. I'm covering my chicken breast with the paprika. I'm adding two tablespoons of my green seasoning. I'm also adding some of the chopped garlic. I'm massaging the seasonings evenly throughout all three chicken breasts. I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes so that it can infuse all the flavors since I'm going to cook it today. If I was going to cook it later on this evening, I would place it in a refrigerator in a covered bowl. And also, these marinated chicken breasts can be placed in a Ziploc freezer bag to cook in the future. I preheated my oven on broil at 400 degrees. I'm adding some olive oil to a foiled pan and I'm placing each chicken breast on my oiled pan. I'm going to broil them for about 15 minutes or until they are brown with a slight crisp to them. Once one side is brown, I'm going to flip each chicken breast so that both sides can be brown. Sometimes I add some butter so that the chicken isn't too dry. Let me know in the comments below how do you like your chicken breast. While my chicken is broiling, I'm finely chopping about half of a lettuce head. 
and I'm using an iceberg lettuce. You can use any lettuce of your choice. The chicken is finally done, so I'm going to cut it into small pieces and set it aside. They came out perfect. They are moist on the inside and a little crisp on the outside. Loving it. It smells amazing. I wish you guys could smell this chicken. If you look closely, you can see it is well done. The inside is white and not pink. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite part of the chicken. The wings, the breasts, the legs, or the thighs. Once I'm done, I place the pieces of chicken in a bowl and I set them aside. Next, I'm preheating about half a teaspoon of olive oil on medium heat. Next, I'm adding my chopped vegetables and I'm giving them a quick stir and I'm going to cook them until they are soft and translucent. Next, I'm adding my can of corn to the pan. The next step is optional, but I'm sprinkling lightly some Tony Shashir's seasoning. And I'm lightly sprinkling some paprika. I'm giving it a quick stir and I'm going to cook it for about 3 to 4 minutes. So the corn is ready. I'm repeating the same steps as I did with the corn, but this time I'm adding my one can of black beans. I'm lightly sprinkling some Tony shears, some paprika, and a little bit of garlic powder. And I'm only going to cook it for two to three minutes. So now that everything is finished, let's put everything together. So I'm getting ready to chow down on this burrito bowl. We have the chicken, the corn, the black beans, the rice that I cooked in a rice cooker, some sliced avocados, and the lettuce. So I hope that you enjoy watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And as always, keep cooking chefs. Bye.